Hello, Colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest. As usual, we start with Usman Dembele, as it has been reported that Barcelona are looking to renew the 25 year old forward, expected to make new approach soon. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then, secondly, talking about Sergio Roberto. As the versatile Barcelona star is reportedly said to be sidelined for at least one month. Of course, against Bibao yesterday, he did. Um, he suffered an injury, which would make him to miss the World Cup. We are also going to be discussing on that. So, guys, before we get right into those stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Barcelona winger Usman Dembele ran the show in the recent thrashing of Athletic Bilbao, playing his role in each of his side's four goals on the night. The young Frenchman, who scored one and assisted three, impressed his manager to the extent that Barcelona are expected to bring back the topic of a potential renewal once again, according to reliable journalist Fabrizio Romano. It must be remembered that Dembele was close to leaving the team during the previous winter transfer window as Barcelona worked towards a possible salary slash. The diabolical state of affairs even prompted Barcelona to put an ultimatum on his head, but the winger eventually stayed put for the rest of the season. As the new captain, or sorry, as the new campaign approached, the parties involved somehow managed to settle on the middle ground with the player agreeing to sign a new deal until 2024, the current deal expires or reportedly sees him pocketing a whooping 16 million euros gross for the next two seasons. However, looking at his growth under Xavi Hernandez as coach, Barcelona team is excited to enter into new negotiations and as reported by Fabrizio Romano, Usman Dembele's extension will be a key topic again soon for Barcelona. With four goals and seven assists across all competitions this season, Dembele is the second highest scorer in this team. And while speaking after Barcelona's 4 0 win of Athletic Club, Xavi mentioned how he wanted his winger to play at a top level. He said, For wingers, they can have good or bad days. With Dembele, we want him to keep the good things. If you are not doing well or if you are not playing well, sometimes you have to limit yourself and play more simply. He has to understand that. Javi continued by saying, We want Dembele to always play at this level. That's why I wanted him to stay. And why I gave him so much confidence, Javi said. Why the topic of, you know, Usman Dembele's extension is still far-fetched. One can expect the management to make a fresh approach by January 2023. Or maybe after the end of the season. Dembele has had a mix of good and bad this season. If you ask me, that's what I can say. Yesterday, he was the man of the match. He played so well. I think, he, in fact, he ran, he ran the show in that game against Bibao as he was involved in all the four goals. He scored one and gave three assists, which is brilliant, brilliant, brilliant from Dembele. Of course, if Dembele can perform like that consistently in every match, then you can just imagine how results will always come in our way. But of course, there are, I can say there are a lot of off nights for Dembele. When I talk about off night, I mean there are times that you don't see Dembele that much in a game. He he looks lost in some games, to be honest. And sometimes you feel like this guy likes ideas, like he has one method and it's very readable. But there are some nights that Dembele takes over the whole show. Like what we saw yesterday was absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. Um, so the, the matter of extension have come up again, Fabrizio Romano bringing the latest updates saying that the Barcelona board are, are figuring out to start talks, to start negotiations by the month of January concerning Usman Dembele's contract and of course we quite remember Dembele was extended for two years in the summer which means his contract expires in 2024 June. And Barcelona normally, which means Dembele will be entering the final year of his contract when next season starts. And Barcelona, from what they have been seeing from Dembele, they are impressed and um, they are they are contemplating of start negotiations with his agents over a contract extension that is further, more than twenty twenty four. 
Um, I think for me, if you ask me, I would say Barca should think very carefully. They should be patient. It's not a matter to start rushing because we don't know. We don't know. I think Dembele, good and fine. He has a good injury record. He's no more injured like at first. Beginning, in fact, since Javi came, you don't see Dembele injured again. That's the kind of player we want to be seen as you know from Dembele. You know, plays well, injury free. It's great to have him back and fully fit for most games. For a very long time, we have not seen Dembele returning to the hospital like he used to do, and I think fans are happy about that. So I think Barca should not rush on this. You know, when it comes to talking contracts out with Dembele and Turach, it's a matter of taking time and seeing how Dembele do this season. Of course, I'm not saying he's not a great player. Dembele is win magic, but he's still so inconsistent. You know. But let's just hope that he continues to perform this consistent in the top level. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. In what could be termed as a blow for FC Barcelona, veteran defender Sergio Roberto has been ruled out for at least a month due to dislocated shoulder, according to Dario AS. Against Athletic Club, the 30-year-old versatile defender put on arguably his best performance of the season, having managed to get on the score sheet in the 4-0 trashing towards the final stage of the game however he was forced off after um, you know sliding into a challenge um to challenge an athletic player as a result roberto was treated on the field for a long time and was eventually taken off the field on the medical cards club um, club doctor ricard prona somehow managed to reduce the pain at that time but the tests that were carried out this morning confirmed the extent of the injury Roberto has dislocated his left shoulder and will be out of action for at least a month, meaning that he can beat his hopes of playing for Spain in the FIFA World Cup goodbye. It is expected that the earliest possible return can be contemplated as December 31st when Barcelona hosts Espanyol at Camp Nou. Until then, the only natural right-back Xavi will have at his disposal will be Hector Bellerin. However, given that the 27-year-old's injury record Roberto's absence represents a, a, a great deal of trouble, especially since he was starting to look more confident in recent outings. But now, with Bellerin being the only option, the manager will have to smartly manage his team's workload. In that regard, the return of Jules Koundé is a belief to say at least, but the absence of, you know, Andres Christensen and Ronald Araujo means the Frenchman will be utilized at his natural position at centre-back. The other option Javi can explore is to use the likes of Marcos Alonso and Frankie Dijon at the heart of the defense, which will give him a free hand at right back, or like he has done at times this season. Alejandro Bade could future at right back as well. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.